Hey thinkers, welcome back to The Walking Dead. Um, so, last episode we just finished up season, or not season, but episode two of season one. Uh, we just went through the statistics of the episode two and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, we are now going into episode three. So, here we go. Ah, uh, what is it called? Episode 3, The Long Road Ahead. That is a beautiful visual, and I am looking forward to the train. Off we go! <coughs> ah! Oh, it's just a loading screen. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I still haven't gotten a face cam yet. I'm, in case you didn't know, I'm actually, like, recording... Uh, all of this. I wanted to make sure I wasn't, like, going to talk during a cutscene. I'm recording... On the Walking Dead. Save that thought for later. Let's watch the cutscene. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my oh, camp. Calm down, you're paranoid as fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. And you will be dead. By my buddy here. By my buddy. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Telltale Games presents. In association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Not the walking, the walking dead. So... National Guard offers evacuation of the city. What's happening? Episode 3. Long Road Ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Right. You okay? Your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put <coughs> considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. I don't know what to say. Fine. I'll take that as a yes then. I swear, Lee, I'd be on my boat this goddamn minute if I didn't think splitting up was suicide. Well, it is, so... Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't okay. leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. It's true. Shit, 
You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Um, let's try it. I'm probably gonna fall though, aren't I? You're not even gonna hold the ladder for me. Well, there goes that. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Or I'll uh, just crawl under the truck. But no. I'm assuming we gotta climb up on that ledge up here. Oh, okay. Some type of emotional memory. Oh, we're pushing the jeep. That's what we're doing here. Um. <clears throat> hmm. Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. If you say so, you're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. Clem! I like that. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Kind of recorded There's like no safe way through that mess. Twenty episodes in the course of three hours. So what? There's no safe way through that mess. Well, look, there's a gap. Just saying. Hmm. Hey, look, a switch. Oh, I was gonna say, that's not gonna pull the trailer. For taking stuff out of that car last week? I hope not. Hoping ain't worth a damn. Here we go. Huh. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. What guy? Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry, you made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, shit! Jesus, are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get off here. What? Somebody help me! Stop yelling! Oh god! What the what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something! Fuck, we gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Kim. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Sorry. I mean, it makes it easier for you, right? God damn it. No. 
Now look what you did. Let's move. Well. do what should have figured though a gunshot would have drawn everybody fuck incoming come on Lee goodbye she says quietly it's sturdy as hell but we ain't got much time get everything you can out of these racks don't forget underneath the counter this time I'll clear down here and then we gotta go Bigger the box, the better. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. Still clear. Let's hustle. Kenny, help! No, go away. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Stop pressing the button. Don't you dare. You were thinking about leaving me, weren't you? Fridge! Wait, where, where? Oh. That worked. Now, let's fucking get out. Hey! What am I doing? <clears throat> oh, got it. Go away. Nice. That works. The fuck was that? They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Drawing attention to myself was probably Hello Arrows. Hey Ben. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. That wasn't a joke, by the way. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. Well, not quite. We got some stuff, not a ton. Half of it's probably expired. There just wasn't a lot left. This it? Yeah, well, we've been picking Macon clean for weeks. <sighs> Fuck. Which is why I've been saying, and I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but we gotta hit the road. Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. 
at it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How I want has to. this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's Excuse not so you. easy for him. Carly. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Uh, uh, uh mm, all three buttons. She's right, you know. Shit's just getting worse by the day. Whatever, Lee. You've picked your sides. Can't be fair. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! I love how that ended with a period, rather than an explanation point. Just saying. Grammar is important. You're coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way did she you just is, caress my cheek? you're paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Okay. Upstairs. Okay. Clementine first, then your second. Alright, here we go. Clementine! Where are you, Clementine? I can't go that way. Can't go that way. Look, I'm not walking. Okay, anyways. Where are you? There you are. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, uh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Bye. Bye. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. <coughs> what I wanted to say was... I've been thinking a lot about you. Uh, let's make it romantic. I think about you too.
Our group is small. You're small. Yeah. That's what I would say. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. Aww. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Well, that's, yeah, it's a good idea. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. True. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. Totally. I think it's for the best. I agree with you. Don't call me small. Alright. Does short work? Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. It's true. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now it doesn't seem like one of them. That's a good but point. Everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Wait, what? Did I miss something? I did, didn't I? Okay. Alright, that's fine. So, she and she already know. Oh, hi. Um, a nurturing mother. Too. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. I just want to get something off my chest. Not my hair. Not my manly man chest hair. That's right. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. Okay. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> well, I had to tell the truth. Everything keeps changing. Yeah, I know. It's bad. Don't feel like telling you. Uh, let's tell Ben up there, huh? Who's in here? Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Sure, Lee. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? 
It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. <laughs> Duck's favorite. I don't know how I feel about possibly telling Duck himself, but that may or may not. Probably not a great idea. Yeah, it's not the best thing to do. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's better to just tell everyone, isn't it? Hi, guys. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I'm pregnant. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. Wasn't for touching kids, was it? No, it wasn't. Because we got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? No. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. All right. It's Lily's room. I know that. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I have no idea. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. Of course. Well, this is actually a really good game. A mystery! Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. <laughs> your ward. That's yeah, why not? I know who it is. <laughs> <coughs> you can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah! Good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Awesome. Thanks, bud. So there's broken glass there. Broken glass anywhere. Um...
The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous, and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried, and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. Well, I don't know what to say. Have you seen anything weird on watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Uh... Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. Okay, it's not him. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Yep, not him. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Bye. Uh... Mom. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Alright, well, I'm gonna go check that out. back here there's some broken glass on the ground there really you mean the thing labeled broken glass is broken glass on the ground There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Duck. A clue. A clue. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It's a sign. It the Illuminati are watching it's us. Pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Have fun. Really? Are you suspecting your own basically daughter now? Is that what's happening now? I don't know how I feel about that. Hello. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. Psst, psst. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues yeah, and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. Be good. Oh, of course. Cool. You did good, bud. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. I won't. Okay, I won't. <laughs> you didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Hey. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but <coughs> you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Yeah. Stay inside the gate. 
I will, I will. I didn't see anything one second. I saw something out there. More chalk. <clears throat> Somebody was over here too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. All right, here we go. Yay! Boop, boop. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. Oh, really? Oh, really? Is that what's going to happen now? There's a grate down there. <clears throat> Excuse me. 